everybody. I wanted to do a relatively quick overview and review of the PrinterBot Smalls basic kit here. Um, I built this a few weeks ago with a friend uh, at Tech Shop Pittsburgh. Um, he built one as well. Um, a little bit on my background, I've built uh, another 3D printer before and have repaired uh, a handful of them and used a handful of them. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of the PrinterBot Simple Metal um, and the Play. Um, they've been great machines over the past year, two years. Um, and even their new Pro uh, has started to grow on me as they've added USB printing and a few other options. I typically ask people when they're getting started if they, if they want a 3D print or if they want to build a 3D printer. Um, in my mind, those are two very different things. Uh, and in this case, um, I, I would suggest this is an awesome kit if you want to build a 3D printer or this is your first um, your first adventure into 3D printing um, or building 3D printers. Since it's been a while since I built my first 3D printer, um, I was very excited when this kit was announced. I think the $300 price point is an awesome entry level um, for this type of machine. The kit itself comes in a flat rate USPS box. Um, it's awesome engineering to see that it all fits into the box as small as it was. Um, and you can tell by the pieces when you uh, lay them out. Um, There's a lot of uh, smart engineering that went into how the pieces were cut out on the water jet um, and how they were engineered. There's a lot of tight tolerances in this kit, uh, which is also pretty impressive. Um, and I think probably also had to do with how um, well it fits together. So in terms of the kit build, um, I followed the video instructions online and I built it with a friend at Tech Shop Pittsburgh um, over the course of three or four hours one night. Um, that three or four hours was enough to essentially get the printer built, um, plug it in and try to uh, run, run it with Pronterface and Cura. Um, that night I did not have success uh, any further because the printer board was flashed for a different type uh, of Z sensor, which you'll see here. Uh, this is the PNP, um, and it was flashed for the barrel connector or the other um, Z sensor. Um, it looks like in future kits right now, they've actually gone ahead uh, and replaced that with the original barrel connector. So it looks like they should alleviate that problem. They were actually nice enough to just send me a new printer board with the, the right firmware um, flashed as I was having difficulty flashing the, the firmware on my computer. Um, I've sent back the other board, uh, but great support on, on that end. Um, the software setup uh, is using Cura 15.04.6. Um, it's great to be able to use Pronterface to control this. I tweaked the profile a little bit using their built-in one, um, but changed the start G code. Um, I think there's a little bit more tweaking I have to do, and I need to go and see if there's other documentation out there for how to set it up. Um, I did uh, run a whole bunch of test prints here. Um, the uh, first couple are the blocks. Um, and then I did um, the mushroom here, the one-up mushroom from Mario. Um, and then tonight I did a Benchy, which I think came out uh, pretty great. Um, you can see maybe a little bit of noise, a little bit of Z-wobble, but again, for a $300 kit, um, I think that's a pretty acceptable benchy um, and the tech shop gear there. Um, I did the bracelet at 80 millimeters, um, I think it's per second. Some of the issues I had with the kit as I was building it is there, there were a couple of um, screw holes that were stripped, um, so I had to get some longer screws. They were just stripped in the top couple of threads and the screws just weren't long enough, so that was a, a real quick trip to Home Depot, not a huge deal. Um, again, the Z sensor not being the correct firmware. Um, everything else seemed to go together pretty well. Setting the, the height here on the coupler for the, the Z rod uh, was a little bit tricky uh, and it was actually catching um, for a little while till I got it right. So that seemed to work out well for me. I did print out the shell pieces, the handle, um, and if I turn the printer around here, the other case, I think they go a long way to make the printer look really nice. I painted it just with spray paint, no powder coating, uh, and you can see the customization I did here with the vinyl cutter I have here at home. The other quick thing to note, um, I bought a right angle USB micro extension, um, and I think that's great uh, to kind of get the cable back and away from it. 
um, instead of kind of pointing straight up. So I highly recommend grabbing one of those on Amazon. I want to show a little bit of the printer actually moving. So right now I've connected to it uh, in Cura 15.04.6. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and home the X, the Y, and then the Z. It's actually a pretty rigid machine for having as many plastic 3D printed parts as it does. Um, I think they really focused on the parts that were necessary to be metal, um, and then the parts that could be plastic, um, I think they made good decisions in terms of where those were placed. Um, I'm just going to raise it up a little bit so you can see the Z go up. There was a little bit of Z wobble until I adjusted the coupler, but it's pretty decent right now and you can kind of see how it moves back and forth. Right now this thing is a lot quieter than my two-year-old printer bought Simple Metal. I think I've got some work on that to do. Next steps uh, for me would be to add a Pi Zero W uh, to this somewhere for OctoPrint. Um, I really think this is a great way uh, to get started with 3D printing, especially if you want to do a build. Uh, $300 isn't a huge investment. Uh, it's super upgradable. There's Z upgrades, X upgrades, and the Y uh, actually will kind of go out a little bit further than it does on this bed by default. Um, I'm looking forward to potentially building another one of these printers. Um, I'd like to do maybe another large group build here in Pittsburgh somewhere with a, a group of a couple people that would be interested. So um, I also had a lot of fun customizing it. I think that's a, a big part of building the Smalls kit. Um, you can afford to kind of make it your own. That's it for now. Uh, really enjoyed this build. Uh, a good bit of troubleshooting just to get it up and running, but uh, appreciated the adventure along the way.